This video was made possible thanks to the support of our fantastic patrons. You guys are the reason we are able to continue making videos, so thank you. Hello everyone, and welcome to another EDH gameplay video brought to you by Affinity for Commander. My name's Martin. And my name is Alex. Today we have four brand new decks to the channel, so without further ado, let's see which commanders they are. My commander is Unesh, Cryosphinx Sovereign. My opening hand consists of Serra Sphinx, Library of Leng, Curse of Swine, Mage Ring Network, Rogue's Passage, and Two Islands. Phil is playing his Prime Speaker Vanifar deck. His opening hand is made up of Nissa Vastwood Seer, Solemn Simulacrum, Vizier of the Menagerie, Guardian Project, and Two Forests. Tom's commander is Azusa, Lost But Seeking. He keeps an opening hand of Staff of Nin, Winding Canyons, and Four Forests. And last but not least, Rich's commander is Gisela, Blade of Gold Knight. His opening hand contains Mother of Runes, Lyra Dawnbringer, Angras Marauders, Mox Opal, Boros Key Rune, Seagate Wreckage, and Vivid Meadow. Tom wins the die roll and starts things off by playing a forest. He then passes to Phil. Phil plays Path of Ancestry and then ends his turn. I play an island and then cast Library of Leng. I then pass the turn. Richard plays Vivid Meadow, and then casts Mox Opal before passing to Tom. In his turn, Tom plays another forest, and then passes to Phil. Phil also plays a forest, and then passes the turn. I play Mage Ring Network, and then end my turn. Richard plays Seagate Wreckage, and then casts Sensei's Divining Top. He then passes the turn. Tom plays a forest, and then casts his commander, Azusa Lost But Seeking. He then plays Winding Canyons and a forest before ending his turn. Phil plays a forest, and then casts Nyssa, Vastwood Seer. He searches his library for a forest, puts it into his hand, and passes to Martin. Martin responds by putting a storage counter on his Mage Ring network before moving to his turn. I play an island, and then pass to Richard, who responds by using his top to rearrange the top three cards of his library. He then moves to his turn. Richard plays Mist Vale Plains, and then passes to Tom. For his turn, Tom plays a divining top of his own. He then activates the top, rearranging the top three cards of his library, and then ends his turn. Phil begins his turn by playing a forest. He then casts his commander, Prime Speaker Vanifar, scrying one thanks to his Path of Ancestry. Phil puts the card on the bottom of his library, and then passes to Martin. Martin responds by putting another storage counter on his land, and then moves to his turn. I play Rogue's Passage, and then remove the storage counters from my land to cast Guardian of Tazim. I then pass the turn, Richard tops, and then proceeds to his turn. Richard plays Sandstone Bridge, giving Azusa plus one plus one and Vigilance until the end of turn. Next, he casts Boros Key Rune, and passes to Tom. Tom plays a forest, and then casts Staff of Nin. He then ends his turn. Phil starts his turn by casting Guardian Project. He then activates Vanifar's ability, sacrificing Nyssa to put Clever Impersonator into play from his library. Phil has the shapeshifter enter as a copy of Azusa, plays two forests and a reliquary tower, and then passes to Martin. I play Temple of the False God, using my Sphinx's ability to tap Phil's Azusa. I then cast my commander, Unesh, Cryo Sphinx Sovereign. Unesh's ability triggers, and I reveal Sharding Sphinx, Cloud Reader Sphinx, Goliath Sphinx, and City Watch Sphinx. Richard splits them into two piles, and I put Shorting Sphinx and City Watch Sphinx into my hand, and the others into my graveyard before moving to combat. I attack Phil with my Guardian, and he takes four damage. I then pass the turn, Richard tops, and Tom uses his staff to deal Phil one damage. In his turn, Richard casts Lyra Dawnbringer. He then passes to Tom. Tom begins his turn by activating his top. He then uses the top's other ability, drawing a card and putting the top on top of his library. Next he plays Shrine of the Forsaken Gods, and casts All is Dust. All coloured permanents are sacrificed, and Tom then ends his turn. Phil casts Solemn Simulacrum, searching his library for an island, and putting it into play tapped. Phil then casts Shardless Agent, cascading into Swiftfoot Boots. He then passes the turn. I play an island, cast Mind Stone, and then cast City Watch Sphinx. I then pass to Richard, who you guessed it, tops in response. Richard starts his turn by casting Entreat the Angels for its miracle cost. He makes four 4-4 four, four angels, and then ends his turn. Tom responds by tapping his staff to deal one damage to Richard, and then moves to his turn. 
Tom casts Mind's Eye. Recasts his top and then passes to Phil. Phil starts his turn by recasting his commander, scries one, and then equips his boots to his elf ooze wizard. He then sacrifices his sad robot to Vanifar, drawing a card and putting Crufix, God of Horizons, onto the battlefield. Phil then moves to combat, attacking Tom with his agent. Tom takes two damage and Phil then ends his turn. I play an island and then move to combat. I attack Phil with my Sphinx, dealing him five damage and then move to my post-combat main phase. I cast Gilded Lotus, followed by Shorting Sphinx and then pass the turn. Richard moves straight to combat, attacking Phil with two of his angels. Phil takes eight damage and Richard then moves to his second main phase. He casts Mother of Runes and then passes to Tom. Tom responds by dealing Martin one damage with his staff and then activates Top before proceeding to his turn. Tom casts Omnath, Locus of Mana, and then passes to Phil. Phil responds by tapping his untapped land to float a mana with Crufix and then moves to his turn. In Phil's draw step, Tom pays one to draw a card with his mind's eye. Phil then casts Conclave Naturalist, destroying Richard's key rune and depriving him of Metalcraft. In response, Richard activates his top, and Phil then sacrifices the Naturalist to Vanifar's ability. He puts Consecrated Sphinx onto the battlefield, and then ends his turn. I draw for my turn, Tom chooses not to draw, and Phil draws two cards. I then recast my commander, revealing Semblance Anvil, Orgent Sphinx, Sphinx of Athun, and Glyph Keeper. Tom splits them into two piles, and I take the one containing the Anvil and Orgent Sphinx. Not yet finished, I cast Curse of Swine, where X is two. I turn Richard's untapped angels into two two boars, and then move to combat. I attack Richard with a Sphinx, dealing him five damage, and then pass the turn. Richard draws a card, and Phil draws two. Richard then plays Trans Guild Promenade, before ending his turn. Tom responds by tapping his Staff of Nin to deal one damage to Richard's Mother of Runes, destroying her. Next, Tom activates his Divining Top, taps two mana to put two plus one plus one counters on Omnath, and then proceeds to his turn. In his turn, Tom draws two cards thanks to his Staff, and Phil draws four. Tom then plays a Forest, then casts Brittle Effigy, followed by Avenger of Zendikar. He makes eight zero one plants and then passes the turn, to which Phil responds by floating four mana with Crufix before moving to his own turn. Phil begins his turn by casting Vizier of the Menagerie. He looks at the top card of his library, decides that he doesn't like it, and sacrifices the Vizier to Vanifar's ability. Phil puts Seaborn Muse into play, plays Nykthos, Shrine to Nyx, and then casts Garruk, Caller of Beasts. He uses Garruk's plus one ability, putting Draining Welk, Selvala, Heart of the Wilds, Wood Elves, and Birds of Paradise into his hand, before casting Greater Good. Still not finished, Phil pays two life to cast Phyrexian Metamorph, having it enter as a copy of Avenger of Zendikar. He makes nine zero one plant tokens and then moves to combat. Phil attacks Tom with his Consecrated Sphinx and Martin with Crufix. Neither player blocks, Tom takes 5 and Martin takes 4. Phil then ends his turn. I draw a card, Phil draws 2, and I play an island. I then cast Semblance Anvil, exiling Origin Sphinx with its imprint trigger. Next I cast Serra Sphinx, revealing Burnished Heart, two islands, and Kefnet's Monument. Phil chooses the piles, I take the monument, and then cast Master of Predicaments. This time I reveal Sphinx of Lost Truths, Riddlemaster Sphinx, Horizon Scholar, and an island. In an effort to make friends, Tom puts four cards in one pile and zero in the other, and I choose the pile with all the cards in. Next I cast Riddlemaster Sphinx, and Phil responds by casting Draining Welk, countering it. He puts six plus one plus one counters on the Welk, and I then cast Horizon Scholar. I square two, and then reveal Dwar Isle Avenger and three islands. Richard puts all four cards in one pile, which I take, and I immediately cast the Avenger for its surge cost. This time I reveal Cerulean Sphinx, two islands, and Commander's Sphere. Tom once again gives me all of the cards, and I then pass to Richard, who activates his Divining Top before moving to his turn. Richard draws a card, and Phil draws two. Richard then plays Sunhome, Fortress of the Legion, and ends his turn. Tom responds by tapping his staff to deal Phil one damage, and Phil taps all of his land to float 15 mana with Crufix. Tom then proceeds to his turn. In his turn, Tom draws two cards and Phil draws four. 
Tom then sacrifices his effigy to exile Crufix, and Phil responds by sacrificing Crufix to his greater good, drawing 4 cards and discarding 3. Not yet finished with hurting Phil, Tom casts Desert Twister, targeting Seedborn Muse. Phil sacrifices the spirit to greater good, drawing 2 cards and discarding 3, and Tom then ends his turn. Phil plays Breeding Pool, paying 2 life to have it end untapped. He puts a plus 1 plus 1 counter on his plants, and then casts Salvala's Stampede. Phil reveals Farhaven Elf, Soul of the Harvest, and Vesuvius Shapeshifter from the Wild Votes, and then puts Enraise Forerunners onto the battlefield with his free vote. He has the Shapeshifter enter as a copy of Avenger of Zendikar, making 10 zero, 1 plants, puts a forest into play, and draws two cards. Phil forgets his original Avenger's Landfall trigger and sacrifices his Avenger clone to Vanifar's ability, putting Crater Hoof Behemoth into play. All of Phil's creatures become insanely large, he draws a card and then moves to combat. Phil sends three of his 31-32 trampoly plants at each of his opponents, swinging for lethal damage. Richard responds by casting Settle the Wreckage, but Phil responds to this by sacrificing his Farhaven Elf to greater good. He draws 31 cards, discards three, and then casts Force of Will countering the settle. Richard activates Top, desperately looking for a response, but finds nothing helpful. Everyone other than Phil is then crushed by humongous plants, ending the game. Good job, Phil. Well, that's it for another episode. We hope that you enjoyed watching the chaos unfold. Don't forget to drop us a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It would mean a lot to us. Also, feel free to check out our Twitter, at 4Commander, or consider supporting us on Patreon, links in the description. We'll see you next time!